Welcome to our journey into the healing world of Reiki. Today, we'll delve into the foundational knowledge of Reiki Level 1, focusing on self-healing techniques and the principles that guide this practice. Let's start with a brief history. Dr. Mikao Yuzhu developed Reiki in Japan in the early 20th century. After a profound spiritual experience, he began teaching this healing technique, emphasizing its ability to harmonize body, mind, and spirit. The practice soon spread from Japan to the West, thanks to Hawaii Takata, a Hawaiian who learned Reiki in Japan and introduced it to the United States. Through her efforts, Reiki has grown globally and evolved into various forms. Now, what exactly is Reiki? It's a healing modality that channels universal life energy, or Ki, to support the body's natural healing processes. Rei means spiritual, and Ki refers to life force energy. In practice, Reiki involves the laying on of hands to channel energy into oneself or others. The goal is to enhance life force energy, alleviate stress, and promote balance and healing. Moving into the principles of Reiki, these are essential to not just practitioners, but anyone seeking a balanced life. There are five principles. Just for today, I will not worry. Releasing worry allows us to trust in the moment and the healing process. It's about embracing the flow of life. Just for today, I will not be angry. Releasing anger allows us to focus our energy on what is important. Just for today, I will be grateful for my many blessings. Being grateful opens us to the universe's abundance and shifts our perspective to what truly matters. Nurturing our spirit and relations. Just for today, I will act in honesty. This principle is about authenticity and living true to ourselves and others, fostering a genuine healing path. Just for today, I will show kindness to all living things. Kindness connects us to others and spreads the healing energy beyond ourselves, creating a ripple effect of positivity. But most importantly, the statement just for today in each Reiki principle reminds us to take everything one day at a time and allows us room for grace when we are not able to be our best selves. Next, let's talk about the chakras, vital energy centers in our body. Understanding these can enhance your Reiki practice by aligning your energy flow. There are seven primary chakras, each associated with different aspects of our being. From the root chakra at the base of the spine to the crown chakra at the top of the head, each has unique energy and significance. Root chakra, located at the base of the spine, this chakra is associated with feelings of safety, security, and grounding. Its color is red. Sacral Chakra Positioned below the navel, this chakra is linked with creativity, sexual energy, and emotional balance. Its color is orange. Solar Plexus Chakra Situated above the navel, it's the center of personal power, confidence, and identity. Its color is yellow. Heart Chakra Located in the center of the chest, it represents love, compassion, and emotional well-being. Its color is green or pink. Throat Chakra Positioned at the throat, this chakra is tied to communication, expression, and speaking one's truth. Its color is blue. Third Eye Chakra Located between the eyebrows, it's associated with intuition, insight, and psychic abilities. Its color is indigo. Crown Chakra Positioned at the top of the head, it connects us to the divine, spiritual insight and enlightenment. Its color is violet or white. In Reiki, we aim to balance these chakras, ensuring energy flows freely, enhancing overall wellness. An imbalance can manifest physically and emotionally, so awareness is key. Now, let's prepare for Reiki self-healing. Start by creating a sacred space. Before starting any kind of healing session, it is important to protect yourself by creating a sacred space. This could mean lighting candles, using essential oils, and playing soft background music to set a calming environment. Grounding yourself is essential before starting any healing session. Try to visualize a cord extending from your spine to the earth, stabilizing your energy as you prepare to channel Reiki. Now call in protective light or guides to shield and assist during your session. This ensures a pure, focused healing experience. 
For the self-healing practice, you'll learn specific hand positions. Each position corresponds to different body parts and chakras, channeling energy where it's most needed. However, I don't feel you must strictly follow these hand positions. Place your hands wherever you feel like you need it. Spend time in each hand position, tuning into the sensations and energies you perceive. This awareness helps deepen the healing process. After the session, it's important to ground yourself again. Techniques like drinking water or visualizing can help bring you back to your physical surroundings. Reflect on your experience. Share and discuss what you felt during the session. This reflection is crucial for understanding and enhancing your Reiki practice. I encourage you to practice Reiki self-healing daily and keep a journal of your experiences. This regular practice will build your proficiency and deepen your connection to Reiki energy. In conclusion, today's introduction to Reiki Level 1 is just the beginning. Continue exploring and practicing, and stay open to the profound benefits Reiki can bring to your life. Thank you for taking this step toward healing and balance.